Hey everyone, I want to make another uh, short video tutorial with Substance Designer and Painter with some useful stuff, uh, specifically how to create your own custom brush in Substance Designer, then get into Substance Painter and have control over the hardness. So let me just very quickly show you what I mean with hardness. Um, I'm just going to add a layer. And you see here I have my basic brush and if I uh, press control and right mouse button hold up and down hold on a second saving um, you see I get a, a hardness uh, change which is this slider here basically so the the basic functionality you have is um, the the brush settings which will stay the same regardless of your alpha uh, which is kind of uh, your opacity so that would be um, the, the left mouse button control left right the rotation and then you have size which is the right mouse button and then hardness which is also right mouse button but up and down um, so you can see this kind of I think better with these kind of brushes where you kind of can go all the way um, to full uh, fully blown out white to kind of smooth it, smooth it out where you have some of the detail um, so we'll try to create our own brush and maintain this kind of setting uh, so the way to do this let's just create a new package and we're gonna make a new substance graph and then uh, let me see I think what we need is mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think we just uh, let's just create an empty there we go all right so let's start with creating some kind of shape that we can use um, as the brush so this can really be anything uh, so I'm just gonna create a shape and scale it down a bunch like this and I think we can use a maybe a pyramid and then we'll just do the classic thing of adding a warp and a uh, Gaussian noise there we go now you have something kind of interesting but let's mess around with it just a little bit just uh, like this maybe maybe we change the shape to a paraboloid there we go okay and now um, let's mess around with it a little bit more so I'm gonna duplicate this one and um, well maybe not duplicate I'm just gonna create a transform node and use the same node here and then I'm just gonna scale it down we just want to make sure that we have our tiling set to absolute and then turned off so that when I move it it's not tiling um, then I'm gonna add a blend node and <coughs> blend these two together see what we get I'm gonna use subtract there we go so now we might start get something something kind of interesting and maybe we should make another warp and also warp this one but with a different intensity so we can increase this there we go and then see now we start getting some interesting results and I'm just creating some you know there's I'm not trying to aim for anything, it's just for the purpose of illustrating this tutorial. Um, and yeah, maybe we, maybe let's keep it at this. All right, so then what we need to do is um, we need to be able to pull this, uh, we need to basically create a, a hardness functionality so that you have the soft, um, smooth gradient looking alpha and then you have like a full-blown white uh, version of it like a 
an alpha blend versus alpha what's the other term for it? I forgot um, anyway so let's add a levels and see what we get I'm gonna switch to values here I think the one we want to work with is levels in high um, because you see as I pull this down it kind of clips uh, the whole thing and I think there might be another one um, with histogram that you could use I think histogram scan maybe not sure yeah histogram scan works as well and actually this one might be better um, because that one has uh, goes from 0 to 1 if you want to do it with levels with values you will have to invert um, the slider with some math so it's probably better I'll show you that as well but it's probably better to use the uh, the histogram scan uh, position so then what we need to do let's put, put this at 0.5 and let's double click on the the canvas and we need to add a parameter and so we're gonna name this parameter hardness in as the identifier and this is important the naming and then we're gonna label it hardness but with a capital letter and it, again this is very important that you have a capital letter letter here and a lowercase so uppercase and lowercase um, all right so now uh, let's ignore this one for now um, and then we go back to our histogram scan and then here we can select uh, the parameter we just made which is the hardness um, so you see it's now set to completely to white so if I double click on uh, the canvas uh, go into hardness put it on 0.5 as the default value and then uh, I can test it out by clicking this button here and then you see so normally uh, this uh, substance painter should be mapping the key binding of control right mouse button up and down properly to to this parameter because it is named correctly uh, if everything goes well so the only other thing we need to do I believe is create an output node there we go and I don't think we need to name anything here um, because it's gonna be a brush so let's let's see if this works and we'll keep this one here um, maybe we can mess around with this later all right so I'm gonna save this and I'm where I'm gonna save this I'm gonna add uh, material uh, we're gonna make uh, alpha I'm just gonna put it here brush test let's call it a1 something like that and we're gonna then export it I wish substance would load the export the same folder that you saved the the file in maybe there's good reason they don't do that um, so I had I had it here I think yeah there we go okay so it's exported so now let's go to painter and in painter all I need to do is um, load the file so I'm gonna do that right now so this is gonna browse to the substance alphas there we go so here I have it and I just drag and drop the SBSAR in here and I have to it's important I import it as an alpha and I'll just import it in this project and here it is it's not named properly so maybe let's very very quickly name it and we'll also call this brush test a1 this is not important but it's just uh, for previewing purposes and I'm gonna click on the second button which will export it with the same settings to the same location here we go so if I now right click on the brush and reload it should have reloaded it, but obviously it's moved it around because of the here it is brush test so I'll double click this and now here I have my brush and if it worked correctly if I hold control right mouse button up and down you'll see that it properly uses the hardness functionality um, so here we have let me just change some of these settings 
put it to red. Let's make it, give it some height and lower the roughness. There we go. And then if I go all the way down. And so this works with all the other options that you have, the, uh, the flow jitter, angle, and then let's do position jitter, maybe slice jitter, so stuff like that. So you can create your own brush like this. And so that's it. So let me just go quickly back. And this is kind of a bonus section here. Um, something I figured out the hard way because I was using levels instead of histogram scan before. And I recommend you use histogram scan for this. So this is kind of different. Uh, it's, just, it's, a, it's another way of doing this things kind of the hard way, I guess. So if we go to uh, levels and high, so what we want to do is we want to see if we could, the problem is if, if I add the hardness parameter here, it's going to do the invert, uh, the inverse. So if I, just to illustrate this, um, so in this case, if I go up, it's going to lower it. And if I go down, it's going to uh, clip it. Uh, so this is kind of the opposite of what the brush would normally do in Substance Painter. Uh, so it might be a bit confusing, uh, but if you still want to use the levels for this, uh, there's a way to go around this and it's with using some mat. So what we do is we, let me just see if I can remember this correctly. So we have this uh, parameter called hardness. And what we want to do is go into the levels values and here add a, uh, well, let's just clear this first. Well, I'm not sure if it's necessary and then add an empty function. Now go into this empty function and we want to first of all get the float, which is the variable uh, hardness that we just made. And what we want to do is we want to, so logically speaking, we basically need to invert this value. So now it's at point, uh, well, let, I don't know. Uh, what it's at at the moment, um, but I think it was at 0 0.5. But what we wanted to do is that when the the parameter is at let's say 0 0.25, we need the levels to be at 0 0.75. So the kind of the easiest way of doing this is simply, if I remember correctly, is to subtract, sub, so to make a sub, subtraction and subtract by one. So create another float. And then we simply set this one to one. So if the hardness is set to 0.25, it's going to sub, subtract 0.25 from one, which will leave us with 0.75. So we set it just to output. I'm not. I'm. I'm not a programmer. I'm an artist. So please bear with me. Um, so this should work, and it's important that you set this to the output node. Uh, so let's see if that actually ended up working. And it doesn't look like it worked. So what did I do wrong? <laughs> let's see. Let's see. So it maybe we should swap it. Yeah, that was it. So I think uh, just the order was wrong. So here you see now we get the actual correct, um, the correct levels or the, the correct um, order going from zero to one, it clips. Now, the I think this is an interesting uh, way of doing things, but obviously the histogram scan is better because with the histogram scan, you can go all the way to uh, to zero. As you, like you can go all the way completely black um, and and then uh, all the way completely white. And with the, the levels in this case, even if you go to complete zero, it it doesn't, you know, it, it basically zero is 
where you have your your original default shape at. So you could still get around that by um, putting a node in between here and or I think you can clamp some stuff still. But um, I thought I would show you this because maybe it's useful in, in some other uh, use cases. So that's that's the basics of creating your own brush that has a hardness setting, working with the key bindings in Substance Painter. Hope this was useful. Bye.